This will be a brief video to show you uh, the new machine and it's just a really beautiful machine. It works very well. A couple of features. First off, uh, the bearing is a linear bearing like this one. It's mounted in the uh, guide carriage and secured with these two screws that are about equidistant there where the ring stops are. This way if there's a problem with the bearing, it can be replaced. This is a nice feature, at least for me. Of course, you could upgrade the bearing if you wanted to. So I incorporated the, the uh, micrometer head, and it's just simply you just loosen this here, these two screws, and then you can turn it whichever way you want. This is to make it lower, this is for higher. You can see the whole thing moving. It's very, very accurate though. So I think it's right here is 60. So wherever it's set at 60, is um, it's for reference but moving it per uh, each one of these lines is hundreds of millimeters so it's very accurate I'll show you how it gouges it gouges very well make sure the cane is soaked that's real important I've had people question the gouge without soaking the cane you, you must soak the cane to get a good gouge it's taking it off really well and these chips are very fine. Measure this one. It's about five hundredths of a millimeter, which is really good for a chip. Let's see if we can finish this. And you should uh, flip it every four or five, and this will give you an even, even gouge because it is double radius. It tends to gouge one side more than the other. So that's it. Let's measure it. We got about 60 in the middle. And I like 40, 47 on the sides. There's about 47 on the sides there. And let's see the other side is the same. It's right about the same. So it's about 47 on this side also. Now I'll show you a little bit about how it works. Now there is an adjustment for the blade right in here. It's a set screw. I don't know if you can see that. And when you... I will also include a tool, hex tool, so that you can adjust the center of the blade. And it's a good idea to move the two at the same time and you can feel the blade move better that way. But this is really the final machine in the series that I have, which starts with a single radius right here. This is actually a stronger gouge than this one. And then this gouge is the mid-level. The only difference between this and this is the mechanism. This is I like this mechanism here. It's very simple and not as complex, but not as heavy either. There is a price difference. But this right here is really the ultimate in gouging, not only with the mechanism, but the gouge itself. Uh, we have these aluminum. This is a upgrade also. It's really quite a fine machine. Remarkably nice. Aesthetically pleasing. So if you have any questions, let me know.